I'm Sam, I'm in bed, and I've got one nice thing to say about Tori Kelly's new album, Unbreakable Smile. Tori Kelly apparently came from American Idol. She like got kind of far and then lost. That stuff doesn't even really matter. Once you're on TV, you have something and you can run with it. And her first album hit the charts on iTunes and she mixed and mastered it herself. Like, she, there was no producers or anything. She just did it. She just made it. Handmade songs. Let's take a look at that album cover. Look at that. How does she, like... Nailed it. I freaking destroyed that. Unbreakable smile. That's a good thought, metaphorically, but I bet you a guy like me could freaking get in there. Break that smile if I wanted to. What? No. Okay, no. I'm disliking this. He just said he wants to punch Tori Kelly in the mouth. Dude. No, 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 not at all. I would never, because that certainly would result in a lawsuit against me. I would never punch Tori Kelly in the mouth. But I'm saying, like, take the title of this with a grain of salt. I can't tell you how long I've waited for an artist in an album like this. The production, of course, is state-of-the-art. Max Martin's on there. She signed to, like, Capitol Records or something. They hooked her up for sure. There's not a lot to say about the production. It's not sugary music. The most successful pop artists tend to have very colorful, flowery, flashy beats that shine bright. Then they burn out fast, and you're like, oh, that, that's overplayed. The radio overplays this, and you're sick of them. I like to say this album's like the opposite of that. It's long-lasting. This is something you can add to your playlist, and you won't regret it for a long time. This album is nutritious. This album is a balanced meal that you're going to feel good about later on. As far as her performance goes, her delivery is not particularly unique sounding or recognizable, but she stands out in every other way so much that it like doesn't even matter. She still is able to get by and pass with flying colors. On that note, she can belt it. Very, she has a very powerful voice, and that's awesome. And everyone can appreciate the beauty of a woman's voice. It's not even like a sexual thing. Just well, I mean, it, well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm. It, her voice is beautiful and charming. I know what you're thinking, Sam. You're being too nice. All right, let's talk about the rap features on here. There's three of them, and they were all very disrespectful. None of them had anything to say. They are all just saying what rhymes with the last thing they said until they fill up their 16 bars. LL Cool J is actually on one of these, which is unexpected. He's old. But his was the best out of the three because he had one good line where he was like, He likes to serve the whole day of the week for the thigh day. And that's awesome. That's a really good idea, too. I, I think I'm on board with that. If there's like a way I can get involved in my local government and make that happen, I would, I would do my part for sure. But the other rap verse is like, you know it's gotta just be like her cousin or something hopping on there, like she's doing him a huge favor. His name is like Day Jack. I've never heard this man in my life, and I hope I don't ever again. Maybe she put them in there to like make her parts look better. The third one is Big Sean. Enough said. If I seem uncomfortable in this bed, it's cause I am. I didn't wanna have to talk about those rap features. My favorite song by her off this album is Dear No One. Hey genius, that song's not in this album. Hey, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not a part of this uh, album. Yeah. It was a single. Yeah, I didn't say it was. I said my favorite song off this album. This song details the struggle of not needing anyone, but sometimes really wanting soulmate. And that's a real problem. And ironically, when I heard this, I was like, marry me, you're my soulmate, you're my soulmate. As far as the lyrics go, she's like very open and confident and unapologetic. Which, with, with that comes a lot of potential turnoffs from people who may not believe the same stuff that she does. For example, she's super relaxed about like letting her religious beliefs, which to me, I'm a Christian too, so I don't mind it at all. It makes me like her more. But I can definitely see how people who don't believe that might be like, ah, eh, this is not for me. Strong points in this album. That one part in uh, Anyway where she's like, Action, inspiration's what I'm chasing in. Take it or leave it, babe. I'm not gonna change. If you don't understand, I don't need you anyway. This is the only- Um, the part in Unbreakable Smile where she's like, The baby, who knows? Maybe I could sell out shows without taking off my clothes. God made me sexy, I don't care if only I know. And that part in Funny where she just like, Funny how it all goes Finally, that part in Hollow where it comes to the rap verse and Big Sean's not on it. Oh! 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 I'm just playing. It's a fun little verse, but I'm so glad it's not on the album version. It's only on the single version. I don't know if I'm doing a good job explaining all this, but Tori Kelly really has, like, enhanced my life with this album as a guy. I relate to her more than I've ever related to any guy artist I've ever listened to. And that's saying something. Is that weird? Maybe. This is a role model. She, this is, she's valuable to humanity. This album is a gift from God. Tori Kelly is like if one of us got famous. You have to appreciate that she's her own person. I haven't seen a pop singer in so long that just has her own beliefs and agenda and morals. And it's like, it's crazy. It's refreshing. It's like something my generation's only ever like heard stories about. And I'm not trying to jinx anything, but usually when we get a wholesome artist in the mainstream, they don't last too long. They eventually become something they're not. And so while this is happening, we should all experience it and learn from it.
Tori Kelly, of course, is never gonna mess up because that smile's unbreakable. You want bangers? This album's got bangers. I know it might not mean much, but I'm giving this album a 9 out of 10. I'm shaving a point off for the rap features. The song that Big Sean got on was a song about God, like she needs God's love. And he hops on there and makes it about his freaking dick. Like, stop. You've ruined this. You've effectively ruined this song. Oh God, boy, whoa, whoa, I can fill you up, whoa there. No, you're my baby girl, no sippy cup. That, by the way, is like the worst line I've heard all year. It's what he does. He like gets on and just ruins things. Um, that's a matter of... You guys have listened to it. I want you to tell me what you guys thought about the album. Let me know any albums y'all want me to review. I might start doing these. Let me know what you thought of the album, most importantly. Honey, come to bed, do your homework, and brush your teeth, because this has been Bed Reviews. Come tuck me in.